And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is action from the round of 16 stage here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Switzerland, and they take on Spain. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Here's how Switzerland will line up. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time, but it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the match is underway. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Went in strongly to win the ball. Belti. Plenty of support here. Happy to take on the shot. Determined block. Well, nicely cut out. Belti. Luana Bula. Serno Gorcevic has a go well the keeper is happy the bar was there well they've started really brightly here they were so close to taking the lead careless in possession Very timely interception. Nice and easy for the keeper. Alexia Puteas. Jenny. Still passing it around with authority. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Gives it a go. A oh, strong hand on the ball. Applying vigorous pressure. That's useful play. And the keeper more than equal to the task. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Delivering it. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Must take the lead here. Shot blocked, but still alive. No problems for the keeper. Well-timed tackle. Useful-looking position, you've got to say. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And there's the delivery. Still not clear. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping.
Well, possession lost by Spain. Geraldine Reuterer. Anna Maria Tsurno Gorcevic. The first half here comes to an end. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. On she goes in possession. Can she pick? It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Regained possession. Well, she keeps moving. Must score! In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. I think most defenders would expect to be booked, halting an attack in that fashion. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, not one Stewart that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. And space to cross it. Seemed to switch off for a moment. And now a throw in. A move of promise on the flank. Could be dangerous. Able to get a body in the way. Ramona Bachmann. A very timely interception. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Now, potential danger. What late excitement, and the match is level. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Noel Maritz. And given away. Only five minutes left for play. And tension galore with the teams locked together.
Committed challenge. Bon Mati. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. What a save! They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. And so the battle commences. And the keeper... Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Moving it forward. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So there we have it, 2-1. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And giving the ball away. Ramona Bachmann. Gives it a go. And good work to deny the chance. Aitana Bonmati. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? Ramona Bachmann. Well, possibilities inside the box. Stop. Well, the stats tell you everything. At times they've controlled possession, they've created some good opportunities going forward, there's been some good attack in play, but when they've had the chances, they've been really poor in front of goal. It's just not been good enough. And now they've got to put their minds towards winning the ball back. Could be! And the keeper had the measure of it. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And over it comes, making sure nothing untoward happened. Very quick thinking there. Can they hit on the break? The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time.
Oh, that's a fine save. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the keeper, there's the whistle. And that confirms that Spain will be in the last eight. Well, I'm not normally a fan of extra time, but that was enjoyable today because the players showed great desire and fitness levels to go and win the game rather than just avoid defeat. And I would have to say they were just about the better team in the end.